right, so today what we are gonna do is we are gonna unbox this rigid octane kit that I got for $90. Now, they did have the sale for the holiday sale, a, a six amp hour battery and a three amp hour battery octane for $100, but this one comes with a bag and a fast charger. And I got this for $10 less. So I was browsing the Home Depot and uh, I was looking for some rigid stuff and I found this, so I bought it and we are actually going to test this out on the rigid brushless uh, self-force impact driver. Now, this is not an octane impact driver. This is just a regular brushless, but we are gonna see if there is a big difference between an octane battery uh, against a regular uh, two amp hour battery when it comes to the power that the tool gets. And pretty much we're gonna see if the octane batteries improve the performance in the brushless tools that are non-octane. Alrighty, so I got both batteries filled up, the 6 amp hour octane and the 3 amp hour octane. So we are going to see and test really quick what the difference is between a regular rigid battery versus an octane battery. Now, like I said before in previous videos of other brands, this is only a 1 amp hour difference. Of course, there's different cells inside. So it's not like I'm going against a two amp hour versus a six amp hour. I love this impact. I love how quiet it is. It doesn't have the power like other impacts does, but it is absolutely quiet and I love that. All right, we're gonna use the Ryobi five and six, five sixteenths first. Alrighty, so we're, we are gonna do two and see what happens. All right, so we are on speed three, full battery. All right, so ready, go. Time. Let's do one more. Right here should be pretty good. All right, so ready. Time. All right, the battery's still full on that. Let's switch over to the three amp hour. I'm sorry, safety first, got uh, glasses on and gloves on. My mistake. All right, three amp hour octane on a non-octane tool. Let's see. Let's see if I can notice a difference without, we're gonna add the timer, but I might notice a difference. All right, so ready, go. Bad, not bad at all. All right, let's do one more. Right here should be sufficient. All right, so ready, go. Time. What's the better life than that? It is still full. All right, so let's go to the six amp hour and let's see what this can do. All right, so ready, go. Let's do one more. Ready, go. Wow. All right, so we're gonna switch over to the regular two amp hour battery and we're gonna take its two out. All right, so ready, go. Major vibration in that one. All right, so let's go to the three amp hour. Three, go. All righty, that is time for that. And the six amp hour, let's take its two out. Ready, go. All 
Alrighty, so those are the results for the Timberlock screws. I do not know what they are. We find that out in the, I find that out during the video edit. <laughs> But now we're going to do the uh, the lag screws. We're using the Tech Life Impact rated sockets for this test. We'll see how these perform and if they could even take them out. All right, so we'll do right here for this one. All right, so ready? Go. All right, now when it comes to doing bigger bolts with this impact, your hand is going to definitely feel it when the anvil is knocking. Like your hand will go numb if you got to do this all day. All right, so let's take let's take this out. Ready? Go. Wow. All right, the two amp hour is not able to take that out. Let's see if the three, which I was hoping for this. Let's see if the three amp hour octane could take it out. Uh, we're gonna try first speed three. Wow, you could definitely tell that there's a power difference. Right, let's go to speed one. Speed two. And speed three. Nope. All right, let's see if the six amp hour is able to take it out. All right, ready? Go. It cannot. That's a four and a half inch uh, lag. Even with the six amp hour octane, you cannot take it out. Try again. We'll do speed one. We'll do speed two. We'll do speed three. You can tell that there is a difference when it comes to the actual anvil hitting the wall, but it's still not enough power to take that out. We are going to use cobalt to see if we can take this lag nut out. The collet push in. Nope, you have to adjust the collet. All right, so we are going to use speed three. Battery is full. Not sure if you can see that. All right, so ready? Go. Yes, it can. Cobalt is a 24 volt system, and I used a 2 amp hour battery on that. So the cobalt was able to take that out. This does not mean that Rigid is a bad, weak company. It just means that this Stealth Force drill off impact driver is just designed to be quiet and not designed to have power. Like I said in the previous video of unboxing this and demo, uh, demonstrating this, this is pretty much for a situation where you cannot make noise, where, you, where your noise is limited to what you can do. And so this would come in hell handy for that, hence the name stealth force so it's supposed to be quiet and and it is extremely quiet but because of that you do not have the power even with the help of the octane batteries so i we are going to be uh, using octane tools and so yes this is just a demonstration of the brushless non-octane gen x uh gen 5x impact driver and so, yeah, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to give a, a little demo to uh, give this one last chance to see if it could redeem itself. But unfortunately, it did not. So that's pretty much it. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time.